Make two toilet rolls or pencils smooth, apparently just using the power of your mind. How's it done? Keep watching. Hey, welcome to Quantum Magic Lab. My name's Kevin Quantum and I am a magician scientist hybrid. Every day I'll be teaching a new magic trick, sometimes easy, sometimes difficult, but always amazing for your audiences and with easy to find objects, most of which you'll already have in your house. I'll not just be telling you how this works, but also the real secrets of why this works. I'm a magician scientist hybrid after all. I really need your feedback to make these better. So remember to comment below and tell me if you like it, tell me if you don't like it, but most importantly, tell me why so then I can improve this. So please subscribe just here. Um, I do these every day. This is just so you do not miss out on any future content. All right, let's do this. Hey, Olivia, welcome to Quantum Magic Lab with me, Kevin Quantum. And Olivia. And me, and me, Olivia Quantum. <laughs> <laughs> you got hiccups? Yeah. Did you just get hiccups there? No. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think by going boo, you actually got more hiccups. That's really weird. Okay, let's try and do this without laughing too much. <laughs> it's more interesting now that Olivia has hiccups than the, uh, than the actual magic trick. Okay, Olivia, so what we've got here are two toilet rolls. Um, we're going to do a couple of two tricks today with toilet rolls uh, because we have probably got lots of them lying around the house based on the fact that everyone went out and bought them a few weeks ago. Um, so hopefully you've got a couple of these lying around the house. Um, first trick is this. All right, Olivia? So stand there. I'm going to count from three to one and I'm then going to bring my finger down and I'm going to touch the space in between the two toilet rolls, all right? You're going to stand just about there. I know you're hiccuping, but we're going to try and get through this. And whilst I'm doing it, I want you to go la, 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 la. Okay, so when I go three, two, one, you're going to start going la, 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 la. You ready for this? Okay, watch the toilet. So I go three, two, one, you go la, 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 la. I'm going to touch the table with that. Okay, something, okay. something amazing is going to happen. La, 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 hiccup. Yeah, but you keep on doing la, la, la until you stop. You ready? So three. Two, one. Stop. How cool was that? <laughs> is that cool? Three, two, one. How was that? Stop. <laughs> Whoa, cool. <laughs> Alright, pick up the other one. That was trick number one. Trick number two is this, Olivia. Trick number two is this. Uh, it's a challenge trick. I want to drop that and try and drop that so it lands on its end. Like this? Yeah, try and so it lands like, like that. Like that? Yeah, I'm going to drop it. From higher, right, right there. Drop that hand. Drop it from one. Oh, that was close. No. When you need to hear, when it happens, you're going to go cool. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Cool. Cool, yeah? So, I'm going to teach you how it's done. Okay, so we'll start with this one first of all. First one is this. Uh, it's a little challenge. If you try and drop a toilet roll on its end like this, chances are you will never get there. However, if you take the toilet roll, drop it from about the height, the height of the toilet roll is plus half, so about there, then it's not like that, but like that at a slight angle. Like this. Go for it. Shut up! It lands on its end. <laughs> now, it doesn't happen every time. You may have to practice this. Olivia maybe got lucky there. Do you want to try that one again, Olivia? See if it works again? Go for it. Not too far. So make it a little more of an angle. Go for it. Ooh, so close. So drop it just about there and then just... Oh, it's not high enough, but... Ooh, so close. So this works better on a slightly harder surface. Oh, did you get it again? I did it like this. You did it again and I didn't get it. That's really, ooh, really annoying. It worked again. All right, stop showing off. Okay, <laughs> cut, cut the camera. Stop hiccuping. Cut the camera. Cut, no, stop it. I'm <laughs> going to be the teacher, not you. <laughs> okay, so that's number one toilet trick. So it's a little trick you can do with your mom or your dad or, or, uh, or your brother or your friends. It's a little challenge one. They've got, a, they've got five shots. Let's say ten shots. Ten shots. They have to try and drop it 
and land it on its end. And you've also got 10. Stop showing off. You've also got 10 as well, and then you can do it, and you can you can meet them, and you can show off to all. Stop this. <laughs> it's really annoying. <laughs> okay, <laughs> when, when someone can do it better than you. Uh, okay, the second trick. The second trick. This is the one that uses the two toilet rolls, or you can use two pencils as well, any round object. What the secret to this one is, is when you touch down there like can this. Get two yeah, go get, go get, get two pencils. Okay. Soon. So the secret to this one is this, that when you touch down, you're gonna blow in between them. Now sometimes when you, yeah, you can't, you want to say, when you blow, sometimes you can hear that noise. Can't, you can hear, when you blow, you can hear that noise. So to try and make sure that no one else can hear it, you get the whole audience to go la la la, and that'll drown out the noise of you blowing. But at the same time, you've also got to practice blowing very quickly, quietly, sorry. The second thing you've got to do, Olivia, is that when you do it, you have to lean your head right over like this. So they can't see from the front that you do that with your lips. So you lean your head over, you push down. As you push down, you have to lift your head. So I'll move them over. Let's put them on the, probably going to be easier on the table. That'll, they'll, they'll, uh, but they'll, then that will fall down. That will fall down, won't it? Okay, well, we'll do it there and that way you can, you can try and catch it before it lands. So, what do you want to do? <clears throat> I'm I'm going to say three to one and put my finger in there and you have to say la la la. That's it. And you make sure that I watch these and don't watch you blow it. Yeah. So bring your head right above them. That's it. And then touch. And three, then two, okay. one. La 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 Okay, stop. Something's went on there. What happened? Okay, now you know what the secret <laughs> You've not got the blowing power, have you? The secret is this, Olivia, that you're blowing in between them, but you've got to blow on the table. Try and blow there in that spot. That's better. Now also, stop, 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 stop. I don't know why you can't do it, that's so weird. I have to look into that, the physics part. Let me try again. See? See? So stand right above them. So I'm going to move them right close to you like that. And no. Stop. <laughs> Stop. This is turning into a disaster. Everyone at home. So stand up. Now don't blow yet. Don't blow yet. Bring your head right above. But high up, high up. Now try and blow just there. Blow there. I think the table's too high. Bring your head. So make sure your, your mouth is here. That's it. <laughs> You're not taller than me, I'm taller than you. Now blow there. <laughs> Don't use your finger yet, just practice the blowing part. Oh, that's good. All right, blow again. Now I can feel your blowing on my fingers. I want you to blow here. Go, blow here. Blow? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, look at me. Just blow my face. <laughs> blow. I can. Go for it. Right, okay, I think I've worked out what it is. Sit back down. Before you do anything, right, you've got to be able to blow properly. <laughs> okay. That's your problem. Your blow is like this. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so that in theory is still blowing, right? But you're gonna try and make it come out in one one train. So hold your so the way you're gonna practice this is this wet your finger a little bit. Hold it like there. No, no, no. Really purse your lips like that. No. So try and aim your blowing so it hits your finger. No, don't blow too hard, just gently. So start off gently, but get stronger like this. Like that. So start gently. Harder. So I'll show you with my on your finger. Watch, watch this. I'm going to start gently and get louder. Like that. Try that. Like the wind. That's it. So now try that. Imagine there's my finger. Go right here. Now the other one's moving. It's weird. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know why this is not working. Oh, Olivia, look, there's a pencil over there. Grab that pencil for me, the black pencil. I think I know how to make it easier for the way. So Olivia blows in a very strange way. So we're going to do a different way for Olivia using a pencil. And if, you, if you're not able to blow properly either, then you could do this as well. Are you ready for this one, Olivia? I'm going to go three, two, one, what are you going to do? La, 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 la. Okay, watch with the pencil. Three, two, one. La, 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 Okay, stop. That was cool, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, now look at the pencil. You're going to try this. What, what do I have to do? So you come down, bring your head low. So, yeah. um, so I'll say three, two, one. I'll put my finger over here. And and gently blow. And you have to, and you have to say la 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 la. Okay, so gently blow. So bring your head three, right down so they can't see your lips. Three, two, one. La 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 la. Oh, whoa! Take your finger off the table before it rolls away. Oh, thank goodness we caught it. All right, we found a solution. Sometimes toilet rolls may need <laughs> someone big to make something real. But for a pencil or something small, <laughs> I don't understand. This works with everybody. You're springing cards a few days ago. And you can't blow a pencil across the table. All right, I'm gonna just assume that Olivia is the only person in the world that can do this. But you did do it once. You did do it once. So it's definitely a success. If you can't do it with toilet rolls, get a pencil. Maybe even get two pencils, put them side by side like you did with the toilet roll, and then we'll move apart. Have fun with this. Have fun with this. We're gonna now look at the science of it. You can't stop my go. Get out of here. Stop the camera. Okay, so the science behind this one, uh, this one that works 100% of the time, unless you can't blow very well. Um, it's all about air pressure. Now, air pressure is something you probably hear about when you watch the weather on the news. Um, and what you're doing is creating some air pressure yourself with your breath. You're making um, an area of, of high pressure, of, of fast moving uh, air particles. Um, so for this one, you can't see this at the moment, but Olivia is on the floor and her hands and knees trying to blow a pencil across the floor and failing miserably. <laughs> I wish I had another camera to show you. I'll try and find that later. Just blow the pen, that's it. Okay, anyway, sorry, the, the science bit. You're creating air pressure. So when you blow, you're creating a slightly higher pressure in air. And when you direct that in between two objects, the air pressure here is higher than the air pressure here. So the air wants to push out. It wants to try and dissipate and try, because air likes, whenever you have, if you have some air in a jar, you take the lid off, it wants to spread out as fast as it can with the other air to join it, to make it all the same kind of pressure. So when we're in a room like this, and I create a little bit of pressure by blowing, the air wants to try and smooth out and become the same pressure everywhere in the room. And it's because of that force, that air pressure pushing, trying to get as fast as it can to, to the rest of the room, that higher air pressure point, that's what pushes these apart. So when the weathermen talk about areas of high pressure and low pressure, that's all they're talking about. An area where, uh, for some reason, the air is moving faster. Uh, the air has got um, more dense than it has in a different place uh, in, in the sky. And because of that, that's what makes the clouds and the weather change every day between hot and cold, um, between the clouds moving over us, is the, the, that and the wind, is, I guess the wind is probably the air pressure. Uh, it's all to do with pressure. So have fun with this one. Hope you learned a bit, a bit about air pressure and about, about how air um, moves through space and tries to get to, um, to a point where the air pressure is always the same in one area. And especially that's true when you're in a big living room like I am just now. I'll leave Olivia to blowing her pencil. Hey, thank you so much for joining us for Quantum Magic Lab with me, Kevin Quantum and Olivia Quantum. Olivia Quantum, we have had lots of fun today. Lots of <laughs> It's only when you stop blowing that it moved. It's so weird. Um, and lots of fun using pencils and uh, making them move using the power of our mind. Um, remember to stop it. And remember to subscribe just over there and uh, leave comments below. We really do appreciate it, don't we, Olivia? Yeah. Yeah, leave comments about my fancy bow ties if you like, all that sort of stuff. For tomorrow, all you need is some paper, uh, you need some scissors, you need some pens, and you need some sticky back tape as well. Get all of those things ready for tomorrow's Magic Lab. And for me, Kevin Quantum, and from... Olivia Quantum! Uh, farewell and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.
Bye bye. 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 Bye, the end. Bye, the end. No, I said the end first, so that's the end.